Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Pre-Modern Magic Online Matches. We're playing a best of five. I'm Michael Hoib. I'm playing against Lester today, as this video is made possible by Dojo Tradebots. So check them out if you play Magic Online. Also on TCG Player, you can shop for them for a Dojo Paper Trade Outlet. So the deck that I am playing today is a list that I saw on TC Decks a long time ago. It is a blue-white tricks deck, so Illusions of Grandeur and Donate, and... Some of the cards are just kind of weird to me, and I just want to play it and see how this deck works out. So uh, this will be a learning experience that we can all go through together. Uh, this hand I don't think does enough, so I'm going to mulligan. Uh, this hand is very reactive, but I think I'm going to keep it. There's not that many forms of card advantage, like in terms of like accumulating knowledge or anything, so that's kind of awkward. Uh, the Sue saying something I want to keep. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, um, I'll put one flooded strand on the bottom. Keep the other one. If I uh, see a few too many cards that I don't like, this is like the pre-modern. Then says divining top, so Okay, we got a flooded strand from Luster. Island, is he playing something right away? A peak. Alright, he knows what's up in my hand. I'm gonna play the Attacar Waste next turn if I don't draw a land. Uh just so I can keep the shuffle effect and hold up counter spell magic. Ooh, Lotus Petal. This could be... Storm? Rifle Knot? Alright. Yeah, this goes. So the, the cards in this deck that are white are... Disenchant, Orem's Chant, and Erase. Uh, so I'm a little surprised that this list doesn't have Enlightened Tutor, but uh, that would be able to get card like Illusions. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Orem's Chant and Disenchant. I think. Uh, I think I'll probably end up drawing both of these. Uh, we'll see. So I kept the disenchant. Maybe it's the Orem's chant that I actually wanted more, but. Okay, we got. Just two flooded strands and a lotus petal. I'm not sure what he's playing. All right. Winter orb. Well, I'm glad I have this disenchant. I think I need to try and counter this. It will fetch though, I guess. I don't think I want this Orm's Chant right now. A lot of other cards that I would rather have. Uh, here's the deck that we're working with. So I'll get an island. I'm going to try and counter this. I'm guessing this is going to get countered. And then I'll... Oh, no. Okay. Alright. I have a stifle. All right, all right. So one, I, I, I'm not exactly sure about the stifle in, in this deck, but one thing it can do is you could stifle a cumulative upkeep trigger. You also could stifle the leaves play trigger. So like maybe if I have donate, but only four mana, I could just cast this on my turn. And then during my upkeep, I could stifle the cumulative upkeep and then, then donate it. Uh, so that I basically like save a mana. I, I don't know. I will end a turn. Look at the top three, I guess. 
Lotus Petal Orbs Chant Stifle. Well, I don't want Stifle right now. I mean, I have a hard time imagining that I can stick uh, illusions right now, so I guess I'll just do it like this. I'm still not exactly sure what, what Lester's playing over there. I guess if I had to guess, it's like a Stifle Knot, because all these cards that I've seen are in it's Stifle Knot, but uh, he's had a pretty slow hand. Fails to find an island. Oh no, that was <laughs> not good. We get to see my hand again. He's going to be very confused. But yeah, I have to think this is like Esper's Stifle Knot then. Okay. So if he does play like a Dreadnought, I could respond with an Orm's Chant. <laughs> then he has to counter that, and then I could fight over stuff. All right, I'll end a turn. Use my expensive Sensei's Divining Tap. Maybe he wants to stifle this. Oh, another Illusions. I don't think I need that. I'll float the Stifle. I don't want to be caught with two of them in my hand, I guess. Also, I guess the same might go for Illusions. Though I don't know if they have Cabal Therapy in their list. I think it might just be Duress, so... But I guess it's still good to hide the information from them. Yeah, I'm surprised just how passive his hand has been. Important targeting him. Okay, that's fine. City of Brass. He's got four cards in hand, and he... he did, it doesn't look like he shuffled. Oh, I forgot to use the Sue saying. All right. <laughs> I had a stand still here. I mean, he's got to figure out a spot. He, he can never just cast a... like a naked... Red Dot, I mean, he's got to be able to deal with this. It's pretty good against the Dread Knot. But then if we kind of even go into a mini counter war, then I can hopefully untap and disenchant. And we got more lands. Got five cards in hand. All right, we'll use this this turn. Now oh, he's enlightened tutoring. Okay. Presumably getting a dreadnought, I guess. I guess the other thing is, oh, seal cleansing. Okay. Got to donate. So we'll put the illusions at the bottom. The the donate then at our waste. Okay. I think it might be a bit. I th I just I have to imagine that he has some counter magic. Like, is this something I can like fight over and not really care about? I guess I just have so many answers in terms of like rifles and disenchants. Yeah, I think I just let this resolve. It's just so tricky because now I mean I have to spend four mana and then I have to get rid of this pretty much because there's no guarantee that my stifle or something would resolve. I guess I could try start with worms chant, but I just need. It. I think I'm just gonna try and get a bunch of land. I mean, it does make the Sue saying more likely for me to get land as I increase. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I will. Let's do it like, I mean, this daze is probably not very good, but he's only got three cars in hand. I have six mana right now. I think I'm just gonna, I feel like I can wait a bit. 
I mean, if, especially if I'm hitting land drops is what... Okay, I'm not hitting land drops. Uh... Okay. Um... I guess I, I could lead with maybe the end of the turn I'm like gonna disenchant his seal cleansing and then stifle the trigger. I guess that's a, a line I can go for. It just seems so awkward. Okay, he's going for stuff. Meddling mage. Alright, I think I need to Orum's chant here. And I'm gonna assume he's gonna counter back. I think I'm pretty just I'm pretty much cold. I don't think I have any way of bouncing anything in my main deck. Uh so let's start with Orum's chance. This is not look good for, for us. Oh nope, okay. So let's counter this. All right. Feels like a small victory. I mean, he might just have another one. I don't know. There's a donate. So Yeah, I don't think I could just like use my illusions and then just hope. Well, I guess I do have two stifles. He's gonna. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna. He's gonna try and stifle or uh, seal a cleansing it before I gain twenty life and have to leave play. Trigger. No, I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna. I think it's less likely that he has another another meddling mage, and I'm gonna go for the disenchant at the end of turn. Okay, so he's going to the end step. So yeah, I guess I'll just I'll try and disenchant this. He's targeting my soothsaying. All right, I think I think I'm okay with that. All right, let's go for an illusions. I mean, maybe he just has a million dazes in his. Okay. It's in play. That's surprising. All right. Hmm. I mean, also, <laughs> he could just stifle like the leaves play trigger, like <laughs> when I try and donate it to him. Okay, he's got a dreadnought. Okay. <laughs> he's got his own stifle. Okay. Right. A lotus petal of his own. All right. So now I get to decide whether I can stifle this cube of upkeep trigger. So that way I wouldn't have to use a lotus petal to donate this illusions. Uh. Or if I. Day two. I, I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's a stifle is probably worse than a lotus petal at this point. 
Okay, and now I'm going to try and donate. Okay, he's got illusions, okay. I mean, he, he's probably just going to stifle the <laughs> trigger when it leaves play, though. <laughs> He's paying this one. Oh, he only had to pay two. I thought he would have to pay four. Okay. All right, we're gonna attack for twelve. I'm just gonna run out another illusions next turn. <laughs> I think I'm drawing another donate. Okay. Um, play more illusions. <laughs> okay. Twenty more life is always good. So I guess I will pay, and then I my plan is to stifle the leaves play trigger on this one that I own. Okay. I guess I just run out another one. <laughs> I guess I just pad my life total. I guess that's the idea here. I've gained 60 life this game. Okay. I guess if he has duress, that'd be a little bit awkward. But, uh... His illusion is getting expensive to pay for. I don't know what is in his hand. If it's just like rifles or enlightened tutors or swords of postures or something, I have no idea. But I'm going to stifle this. One that I had to pay four for, and then pay for this one. Blue. What's his blue mana for? Not black, so I guess that's good for me. Well, I guess he still has the Lotus Petal. What is he playing? Limbell's Vault. I guess he's getting Stifle. If he has to pay eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I might be able to <laughs> to daze him. That would be uh, pretty absurd. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things going on, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm even close to being able to win. But I think there's a chance. Okay, it looks like Lester is finishing up his Limdol's Vault activation, or how he wants his five cards. All right, end of the turn. Okay, so you have upkeep. A4. No. Stifle. Okay. You have upkeep. We will pay two to prevent this. Yes. Okay, Attacker Waste, not great, but uh, 
see how this works out. I guess if he's not paying that, I'm not going to be able to... The day is a... Uh... Well, he has to pay the cumulative upkeep first. But what is the card that he got? Is he, like, stifling here? He was able to play there, so I guess he probably just got a stifle. I need to draw a counter spell right now. Or another donate. <laughs> so he'd be able to pay for this one, I think. So Alright, we'll pay for Pay for this, a remote farm. Um, I'm guessing that <laughs> this illusion is going to get stifled now, and all my hard work is just thrown out the window. No. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah, I go to seventeen. Let's see what's coming down now. Another dreadnought, okay. Is vision charming this one? I think I need to draw donate. I don't even think that's good enough because he is one, two, three. Oh, he's seven. So I think it would get. All right. I think maybe I have a chance. Sure. Oh, nope. I think I am dead. Okay, did not get there. Okay, we're back for game two. Uh, thought I might be able to sneak out a win there, but uh, we're going to try this again. It's going to be very difficult against uh, a deck with Meddling Mage. I'm very dead to that. But I've got an Illusions and a Donate, so uh, I can't alternate cost this days. So... Let's see. I don't know if he is Wasteland. Um, really need Eiffel or a remote farm. Okay, Portent targeting Lester. Okay. We'll see if he keeps these three on top. Yeah, because I'm looking to see if I can just sneak a, a quick illusions and then donate it right away. Looks like he kept kept on top. And it plays a lotus petal. He's gonna draw his card from Portent. I got a stifle, so I guess that helps a little bit. He's got a city. This duress is going to be rough for me. Yep, can't do much about it. All right. I mean, he could take any of these cards, I think, and be a decent shape. I guess the other thing that we didn't even consider is uh, if there's Swords of Postures in his deck, he has a Dreadnought in play. He'd just be able to plow his own Dreadnought and then go above 20. And then my whole work of 
donating the illusions is kind of for nothing. So I feel like this matchup's going to be really difficult to win. But I probably would say that about against a lot of the matchups that this deck would play against. So he takes days, so that's pretty interesting. I don't know if that means a quick dreadnought is coming out. We got white mana. Oh, a meddling mage. Yeah, so I'm going to play on just so it uh, doesn't make it look like I'm cold to meddling mage. Just so for the future games. But yeah, I don't think there's anything in my deck that I can do. If he names either donate or illusions, I think I am just dead. Okay. That's not good for me. So let's we'll try and make this quick. So on the sideboard I have cards like Humility or Wrath of God to get out of a situation like this, but still um seems kind of tricky. Those are pretty clunky cards. But I think I'll have to bring them in. Another meddling mage, okay. I guess I could have countered that, but uh, it's probably better if I uh, die a quick death. Okay. We'll attack for four. All right, what did strand? Probably concede in a turn or two. Also, he turned off his own stifle. So it'd be funny if he uh, tries to cast a dreadnought and thinks he's going to stifle it, and it just dies because of it. There's a mana leak. Okay. I will... Yeah, I'll just call it here. We'll move on to the next games with Cyborg and maybe, maybe that can give me a prayer. I don't know. Okay, so now we get to look at sideboarding. So I think we we definitely need to bring in some number of these Wrath of Gods or Humility so that we have outs to Meddling Mage. Also, Prohibit, I think, counters everything in the deck. So uh, I think it's just better than Mana Leak. I mean, maybe Daze is better. Daze is... Uh, I think we can take out Erase. We'll keep the Disenchants because they hit the... hit the Dreadnoughts. This is just really clunky if I'm bringing in all these... I guess I want to take out these Dazes. I'd rather have... Eh, I guess a couple Dazes. They're just so bad. But I mean, like, it's just, I have to imagine I'm going to be casting these four mana spells, and I'll need maybe something that costs zero to, to back it up. I don't, I don't think I'll be getting to six mana that often. But I'll be able to play like a Wrath of God with a Prohibit or a Mana Leak backup. I'll try this. I'm not excited about it, but um, we'll keep it going. We'll see how this works. All right, we're back for game three. I've only got one land. I got a bulk in this. This one doesn't have any land, so this one's certainly going back. Uh, this is not, not off to a good start here. This is still not going to do it. All right, this one's got mana. 
more mana than the other ones. Put three cards on bottom. Ability, Lotus Petal, Water Spell. All right, let's see how this goes. I have to imagine it's not going to go well. He might just rip me apart with a, like, duress into Dreadnought and Stifle. So that's definitely the ability that the Esper Dreadnought can do. Or he could just play, like, a turn one meddling mage. Is a Dreadnought? And a stifle, okay. I've got blue mana. So I could draw an illusions. Maybe. Well, if I'm getting duress, then I'm certainly not winning. <laughs> All right, this one will be quick. Quick and painful, so. so let's see here. If I drew illusions, I guess I could cast it and then, oh. I was going to say, one, two, three, four, and then a... I, I had the out of drawing illusions and then donate. But I'm dead here. All right, so it seems that this uh, deck was a little too clunky for the Esper Dreadnought. Um, I thought it was interesting list. I wasn't sure what was going on, and um, I'm still not 100% sure. Is. So if you guys have any input and understand what this deck is trying to do, uh, let us know in the comments. But uh, until next time, take care.